One special program offers a platform for artists to gain greater recognition. Some have gone on to become internationally acclaimed stars. The biennial exhibition is back featuring works of 15 up-and-comers. Kim bo Young turns the spotlight to young Korean artists. Ibul, Choi jung -hwa, and Lee Hyung-gu. These well-recognized Korean artists were first introduced through the National Museum of Modern and Contemporary Arts Young Korean Artists Program. As one of the premier exhibition programs held by the MMCA, Young Korean Artists was first held in 1981, making this year its 40th anniversary. The exhibition has been discovering and housing emerging artists based on the MMCA curator's recommendations and outside experts' research and discussion. The curator says this year showcases 15 boundary-pushing artists who come up with art through an extended range of media. It's been meaningful to present artists who have explored their own artistic properties in a variety of fields, such as painting, sculptures, installations, media art, pottery, and photography. One artist tried to show the need for ecological balance in our lives using natural materials such as weeds and clay, while another found motives from Dante's Divine Comedy and used porcelain to show human desires and anxiety. Though each artist varies in how they express their perspectives on society, there was one experience they all had in common, the pandemic. One artist focused on how the pandemic has made lots of people nostalgic. I have restored a record store from a bright city during the late 1980s and early 90s to show the times when economy was developing fast. I use hi-fi audio in all records. Such images usually serve as a background of the city pop genre, too. Another artist filmed an acrobat navigating an abandoned water intake plant, showing how, in unprecedented times of disaster, physical senses can be more valid than knowledge. Those interested in seeing Korea's young artists' adventurous attitudes can find the exhibition at the MMCA in Kwacheon until September 22nd. Kim Bo-kyung, Arirang News.